Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20 and I'm currently in my 125 test world demoing the latest and greatest changes for the Portal Gun mod. Alright, uh, it's been a while since I've actually done a mod spotlight on Portal Gun, I think not since the first version of it, so there's been a lot of additions and changes, and basically all the stuff that was originally in the Portal Gun mod has been re-added. So there's a bunch of cool things to cover, so let's get started. The first item to show you guys is the Portal Gun Pedestal crafted as shown here, you simply just place down your pedestal in the world and right click with a portal gun in your hand to place it on the pedestal and supply it with redstone power and it'll automatically create a portal directly in front of it. And if you keep it supplied with power, it'll rotate and shoot off another portal and it'll keep going around. Pretty similar to the way the portal gun pedestal worked in the portal games. So this nifty little gadget will help with uh, maybe some cool custom maps. Uh, go ahead and just walk up to it or right click on it to collect the portal off of it and turn off the redstone signal to turn off the uh, pedestal. Next up we've got some aerial faith plates as you can see, iron, redstone, obsidian, and glass. Uh, place these guys on the ground and right click on them and you'll get this uh, little interface here where you can control how much horizontal and vertical power it's got and whether or not it needs redstone to be activated. Um, so right now I'll leave it on needs redstone no, and all I gotta do is walk onto the aerial faith plate and I'll be shot off in a direction there as you can see. And uh, you can adjust the uh, strength of the aerial faith plate. You can lower the horizontal power but increase the vertical if you want. And you'll see you're shot up a lot higher and you die. So to prevent your death, you're going to want some longfall boots, crafted like so. For each boot, you're going to need six iron and two obsidian. You're going to need a pair of those boots combined to get yourself the longfall boots. And just place them on your character, and they will reduce or prevent fall damage uh, on your tune. See? No problem. Uh, I don't know if it lasts, you know, up to maximum height, but you'll noticeably less fall damage when wearing the longfall boots. Next up, for those of you who remember these little guys from Portal, you've got your weighted companion cube and weighted storage cube vents. Uh, they're crafted as shown. You're going to need a weighted storage cube. Uh, as you can recall, it's crafted like so. And if you want to get your companion cube in there, you're going to have to figure out the recipe for that guy on yourself. Um, but the vents here will deploy a weighted storage or companion cube for you when they receive a redstone signal. Ta-da! And there can only be one of these in the world at a time, so if you activate another redstone signal, it's going to destroy the items that existed. And a pig is going to walk on my redstone, and you can see, it works pretty well. And of course you can pick up your cubes by pressing G, and uh, you don't need to hold the portal gun in your hand to pick up cubes, of course. The portal gun can pick up any block, or almost any block for that matter, when pressing G. But uh, the cu storage cubes can be picked up without the portal gun. And thrown. Cool. Do note that if you get some cyan dye and you right click on your storage cube, it becomes a bouncy cube. Lots of fun. Whoa. A little tricky to catch even. Caught it. The next new item in the Portal Gun mod is the High Energy Pellet Launcher and Catcher, something else you should be familiar with from Portal Gun, uh, crafted as shown here. And these guys will launch and catch a high energy pellet. Simply supply a redstone signal to the launcher, and if a catcher receives a pellet, it will go ahead and emit a redstone signal. Let's check that out now. By pressing the button, you can see it emits the pellet and then the catcher here will receive the pellet and emit a redstone signal whenever it's got one. And shift right click your catcher to go ahead and relaunch the pellet. The pellet will bounce off surfaces, as you can see. And if it bounces too many times, it'll eventually disappear. Looks like it does cause a little damage to the block it's hitting too. Neat. Do be careful when playing with the high energy pellet. It is a little harmful to humans. Or other living entities. 
Next up, we've got the Material Emancipation Grid. As you guys may recall from Portal, anytime your player steps through a Material Emancipation Grid, it will close off any active portals in the area. So let's go ahead and set up a couple of these guys now. There are some configuration settings that can do more than just uh, close the portals up. And uh, if you want to turn this thing off, simply pour some water through it. Ta-da! The config file also has a setting for making this active only when it's receiving a redstone signal. Next up, we've got the turrets, everybody's favorite. Uh, simply place them down on the ground. And they will kind of hang out there, looking around, trying to find some enemies to attack. Careful, they will attack you. There's a configuration file setting for uh, what they can and will attack. Um, you can set them to attack only friendly mobs or only uh, enemy mobs, but they should attack everything by default, including, like I said, you. Just knock them over to disable. And you do also have the defective turret. Hooray! I stepped on the aerial face. So what am I uh, supposed to? Guys, the lock lady. I uh, don't have any bullets. You gonna give me bullets? Are there bullets up? <laughs> You should note that when you're placing your turret, you have about a 1 in 10 chance of getting an Oracle turret, which I've gone ahead and placed here for me. And, uh... I'm different. I'm different. They are a little different, that's right. I'm different. I'm different. And as you can see, by placing four of them like that, it goes ahead and sang a little song for you. So those are just a little uh, Easter egg for you for the Portal Gun mod with turrets. And finally, we've got the latest addition to the Portal Gun mod called the Thermal Discouragement Beam. Um, do note that there is a little bit of a bug right now with uh, Thermal Discouragement Beams and Optifine, but uh, otherwise they work pretty well. The uh, Discouragement Beam Emitter is crafted as shown, and the Catcher, and then the Sensor right there. You've also got a redirection cube and a redirection cube vent, which works just like the other vents in that it deploys a redirection cube. So uh, let's go ahead and check out what they do. So the discouragement beam emitter simply needs a redstone signal. You can place it on any block and it'll emit the redstone beam. And as you can see, the sensor here uh, will detect when a beam is traveling through it and emit a redstone signal. So uh, turn off the beam and the signal's off, turn on the beam and the signal's on. And finally you've got your catcher here, which will, when it receives a laser, will also emit a redstone signal. Now the awesome part about these lasers is they can go through portals. So if we place a portal here and here, ta-da! Looking cool. Sweet. So a lot of neat stuff you could do here to get this uh, some pretty complicated mazes and systems going up in some of your creative worlds. Um, very cool looking, isn't it? Yeah, I love it. And the redirection cube is also pretty neat. Just got to pick that guy up and it'll redirect the laser wherever it's uh, aimed at. So pretty neat ability there. How cool is that, huh? I love it. And that about wraps it up for the uh, portal gun mod. Maybe I should note to you guys that the thermal discouragement beam does discourage spiders. It doesn't hurt you. Or yeah, it does hurt you. Okay. Cool. Um, but it'll also hurt enemies. Ha ha ha. So you can create like a little laser defense system around your house. And uh, maybe even throw down some turrets here to help out with those nasty spiders who like to sneak up on me. Or maybe the endermen. <laughs> Take that spider. Are you still there? Down. Yep, so that about wraps it up with the Portal Gun mod. Lots of cool changes and additions, and it looks like iTunes has a lot more cool stuff planned. Um, he keeps adding stuff to this mod, and it's a lot of fun. Um, so, hope you guys enjoyed checking it out. This is Direwolf20 signing off. Take it easy.